Morning everybody, it's Dr. Steve back with another episode of Core Wellness TV. Uh, I'm standing next to one of the most wonderful and beautiful things on the planet, and that's honeysuckle. There's nothing. This is a big, huge, luscious, oh, it's just amazing. And the power of smell is very, very powerful, and that's what I want to talk to you today about and relate it back to detoxification and relate that back to stress and relate that, that back to how stress draws us in and forward. So let's go to the honeysuckle first. When you have a smell that's amazing like that, it drops calm through your body. I don't know anybody that doesn't like the smell of honeysuckle in mid-May, early June in the Midwest or anywhere. Uh, so what people do, what we do as a society, is instead of taking the natural essence of plant oils and smells like this, we use synthetic oils made from petroleum in the name, you know, we call those perfumes and colognes and aftershaves and body lotions and dryer sheets and uh, you get the picture, you know what I'm talking about. All of these smells that are infused into the matrix of society are toxic chemicals to your body and they represent or mimic estrogen. Let's say that again. These perfumes, when you spray your perfume on in the morning and rub on your body lotion that has synthetic or petrochemically based uh, perfumes and things in them, your body is getting a dose of estrogen. And this is toxic estrogen, this is a xenoestrogen, and this is what is the major cause of toxic buildup in your body. And how do we get rid of that estrogen in our body? We have to, our liver has certain channels that pulls that out. We have to be able to det detoxify it and metabolize it. And if those channels in your liver, you get my liver, right? When you, those channels in your liver are clogged up by too many drugs that you may be taking. If they're clogged up by other chemicals in the environment, the, the pesticides and herbicides on your food, the uh, plastics that we drink out of our plastic bottle, the smell that comes out of shower curtains, uh, the, uh, the, the, the what we take in contaminated fish oil if it's not a clean source, all of these sources are toxins to the body. So it's so vitally important to make sure that your liver is pumping this stuff out. And before that, it's also uh, very important for the colon and your body to be releasing things every day. So the first step is elimination, and once you're eliminating, then you can get your liver detoxified. So that's those are some things that I talked about in a recent coaching session we did on detox and weight loss, and uh, you can get some information on that down below or, or around this page. But regardless, these things, whenever these things build up in your body, what are the symptoms of chronic poisoning? They are fatigue, they are sleep disturbance, they are anxiety, they are allergies. Okay, these are from the uh, clinical uh, peer-reviewed medical literature. And I'll put that uh, that resource down below as well, so you can see that these are very real. We are a toxic society, and whenever we, our body gets toxic, we get headaches, allergies, confusion, anxiety, all these things. What happens to our body? Do all those things make us open up and have our joints work in a perfectly perfectly aligned way? No, they cause us to turn on the stress system. The forward, like we talk about, right? Cross posture syndrome. The, the neck pokes forward. The shoulders roll in. This is the stress posture. So I'm just trying to bring this full circle to the fact that just using synthetic petrochemically based perfumes can lead to unhealthy aging and cross posture syndrome. So that's my point, is this is not just a matter of doing exercises to open up your posture and work on your breath. Because if you don't get rid of all of the stresses that cause the curling up and the forward posture and all the toxicity in the body, mosquitoes are out too. Well, with, that's a, there's the, the duality, right? There's the beauty and then, the, and then the, the opposite of that. There's always the night and day thing. But anyway, uh, you have to approach everything. The, the, the mental, the thought processes, the chemical or nutritional processes, and the physical or postural processes. So uh, just another reminder for you, and get out there and get a piece of honeysuckle and actually, remember what you did as a kid? Pull the end off of it? Mm, this one's broken. No, 
you get the picture. You pull that little thing out and taste that sweet nectar. That's what I want you to do is taste the sweet nectar and s smell the real smells and use essential oils if, instead of perfumes. Okay? Bless you and have an awesome, awesome day.